Now I'm just embarrassed. You too. Okay. Friends and Dwayne, how do you feel about the lemonade? Unmute yourself, friends. So, Johnice, what are you putting inside yeah, of your lemonade? Okay, so this right here in my lemonade, I'm eating in mint. Is that fresh mint? Yes, it's fresh mint. Is that from Fresh Farms? We don't really need it. Yes, the best. Anybody remember what our number one pollinator is? DeAndre? A honeybee? Yes, the bees. The bees are our number one pollinators. All right, so I got my little whiteboard here. Okay, I'm going to put a list here of our pollinators. Today, I just want you to feel empowered to make whatever kind of salad you want, whenever you want. And so, I'm just going to freestyle with a bunch of things that I have. So, our main ingredient, spinach, I have already washed and in its bowl. We are here today because I want to talk to you about soil. You might say, soil, that's just dirt. Why do we want to talk about dirt? But I think it's really important to know Soil and dirt, not exactly the same thing, right? You can use the word dirt to talk about when things are dirty, right? It just means it's not clean. Soil doesn't have anything to do with being dirty. Soil is in the ground all around us. I have a little bin of it right here that I dug up from my backyard garden that I'm sitting in right Again, now. Again, today we're making, um, we're writing I Am Home, so all you need um, it's something to write with, something to write on, an open mind, and an open heart. Um, I really love writing poetry because it's a, a creative and unique way to express yourself and express how you're feeling, express what you're thinking with no major rules or bounds. You can just go, 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 go. My favorite Poopin salad is called Tuscan Kale Salad. And I just love how all the flavors come together. It makes for a really nice side salad or a lunch salad. Um, and it's just salty and uh, savory and delicious. Make sure to wash your kale. Um, and I have a fun way of getting my kale ready. I take my kale and I take one hand and I separate that easily, my stem, from the leafy green part of the kale. A fruit is born. One, the flower makes a sticky yellow dust called pollen. As the bee drinks the flower's nectar, she gets pollen all over her hairy body. Then the bee moves pollen from one flower to another. Everything right, right, because a plant, it's not just this inanimate object, right? It's a living thing. So we have to take care of it just like we take care of ourselves. Ways. Um, and that is what we want to do as people. So when change is happening, we can prepare ourselves just like we prepare the noodle. We can prepare ourselves and then we can be flexible with our changes. Hi friends. I'm here today with another skill for your food prints toolkit. Today we're going to learn about different hand positions when cutting vegetables. So the two hand positions are called the tunnel and the claw. And both of these positions are important to help keep your hands safe. So let's take a look at how to do them. So tunnel first, because that helps with wobbly vegetables. You have your thumb on one side and the rest of your hand on the other. You're going to bring your knife right in the middle, put the tip into the vegetable and slowly 
push down and work your way through the vegetable. 